My experience with fraternities isn't the best one out there. I mean, I had some fun, but I can't really say it was worth it for the amount of drama I went through. This is my experience with fraternities at the University of Washington. The thing about fraternities is that once you join one, you lose your individualism. You lose any sense of you. Like anything you do is now associated with that fraternity. Like you are no longer you. You are like that guy who's a part of that fraternity, you know? So when you lose your individualism, it makes it hard to do things such as pranks or YouTube videos like me. So if you're like me, it's not going to be that much fun. But you shouldn't have that much of a problem with that. But I mean, freedom of speech? Nah. Freedom of the press? Nah. And I didn't make this video to bash fraternities, alright? It's just simply an informative video. But I'm sure somewhere out there is someone getting offended. Like one time I made a video talking about how suits were like uncomfortable and they got mad at me. Like, suits. Uncomfortable. Oh, I would've never guessed they're uncomfortable, man. Suits are uncomfortable, everyone. This is breaking news. Oh like, my god, ah, shocker. Like, I'm just trying to give an educational presentation on Greek life, alright? Just so people out there know what they're getting into. But, uh, if you see a sudden spike of dislikes on this video, you'll know who it's from. First of all, right away is a terrible first impression as they try to coerce you into joining their house through propaganda and bias. And I know in real life people do this all the time, such as in sales, but I'm, I mean, come on, seriously. And I'm talking generalities here, like, like houses in general, not one specific house, but like I once went on a website and I put my information so Greek houses can contact me and so they did and I started asking them questions and one of the main questions I asked was what are the pros and cons of living in a fraternity house and they gave me pros such as like you know big house, parties, connections, networking, meeting new people and just having a good time, you know free events and stuff but you know I asked them about the cons and you know what they told me? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And I'm like, come on, Cal, are you serious? It's like, dude, out of that entire house telling me everything I've seen about hazing and drinking and all that, and out of that giant house with all those people that there's not one single con, don't lie to me. And it's like, bro, I know you're lying to me, bro. I know you're lying to me. Why are you lying? If you would have told me anything else, even like something like the house is trash, it's complete garbage, I would have been like, hmm. I'm considering it. But you know, since you're gonna lie to me like that, like for sure bro, for sure, no cons, yeah. But wait, cons, that's impossible. This is fraternity house and, and we're flawless and like it's a perfect place and that means I should join right away. Shouldn't I? <laughs> this was freshman year too and I decided to end up going with the dorms with my friend from high school. Sophomore year was when I actually joined a fraternity. I was going to the gym with my friend Lucas and one of his friends came to the gym and talked to us and he was in a fraternity house and he started talking to us about you know why he joined and stuff so we went and we saw the house we checked it out eventually spring quarter at the end of my sophomore year we were like you know let's try something new so Lucas and I both joined one but he wanted to join like a bigger house one where he would live in so he ended up joining a different one and I ended up going with the original plan and joining the one that his friend was in. Mine was a smaller non-hazing one, and uh, it was pretty chill, you know, brotherhoods, events, I was like, okay, smaller kind of house, it's more chillax, so, seems pretty good, right? So right away, before I even got initiated, I made the worst first impression that you could possibly make. I went to a brotherhood, and I posted some private information online, in forms of a video. They did not like that, they found out about it somehow, and then, I got a random phone call one day telling me to delete the video without even a, an, an, an explanation so I didn't even know why but pretty much this is how it went down I'm gonna need you to delete that video oh but can you tell me why? delete it! oh and so I deleted it but I wanted an explanation because he didn't have time to explain it right there and then so he said he'd call me in 20 minutes but then two hours passes by and I didn't get anything so at this point I was just pissed because like I spent time making that video and now a random voice that I didn't even know over the phone was gonna tell me to delete it without an explanation so I kinda told him off and then I got kicked out <laughs> but then you know afterwards we talked about it and you know while our heads were clear I pretty much apologized because I told him you know my fault, I thought you were tricking me, and in hindsight, I knew that what I did was wrong because it was private information and I shouldn't have posted it. So, you know, things were all good from there, and I ended up joining. 
Fraternity life is alright. I mean, like I said, it's kind of restrictive. I made some pranks and posted some videos and they didn't like it because they thought I might make frat guys look bad. Like, I once went to a lecture hall and said hi to strangers. Link in the description if you want to see that. And, you know, they saw it and they said it might make frat guys look bad or stupid. And I was like, come on, cuh. I'm just being friendly and saying hi, people. Where's the individualism? Another time I made a video talking about my experience with everything and you know how Lucas was getting hazed but I wasn't and how I had to wear suits every Monday and it was uncomfortable and they thought I was being way too negative about everything but seriously I'm not gonna sit there and lie and tell them suits are comfortable okay because they ain't suits are not comfortable everyone knows this so they told me I either could stick with making videos and doing stuff like that or I could join the first fraternity. And you know, I, I ended up joining the fraternity anyway. I still wanted to try it and see what it was all about. So I stopped making videos for a while and I stopped pranking. There were good moments. I went to parties, I met new people, I went on a boat formal. My first time drinking was also when I was in the fraternity, and I know what you're thinking. But Trong, you seem like the guy to party all the time and get wasted every weekend. But no, it was my first time and they didn't force it on me or anything. I mean, they were very supportive of me not wanting to drink. But in the end, I wanted to drink because I wanted to see what it was like. And I didn't drink enough to pass out or anything. I just drank to get tipsy. And when I'm drunk, I'm just goofier than I normally am, which is pretty high level, if I'm being honest. So it was fun. I mean, it was, it was a lot of fun, but I mean, I can just naturally be goofy and I, I can still have a great time without drinking. So it was fun to try it, but you know, it's not something I do habitually. See, the thing about fraternities though, is that they take up so much of your time. They make you do chores, they make you buy suits, they make you go to events. And even if events are optional, they guilt trip you, so it's not really that optional. And when I say they make you go to events, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Be like they make you go to events, like oh fun, I hate fun. But I'm just saying like those are gonna be time commitments, and you gotta realize that if you're gonna join one. Oh, and you also have to do tests and study about the history of your specific fraternity. And uh, tell me if what I'm saying right now is true or false. Studying about fraternity history is a lot of fun. The thing about my experience was. You know, since I was the odd child, the wild one, I always felt treated a lot differently. No, I was treated a lot differently. Like, any time, anything I did that was bad was magnified five times. You know, I felt like the brothers in the house could never trust me, and they were always very distant with me. And I just felt like I couldn't be trusted. And in this way, I didn't feel like I could trust any of them. And it wasn't the best environment to be in. You know, we both knew that. Somewhere around eight weeks in, I was let go and you know it was mutual though like we both knew it couldn't work fraternity life just isn't for everybody and I learned that this was back when I wanted to try as many experiences as possible too because you know I thought life is short I gotta try as many experiences as possible and Lucas knew this so anytime he wanted me to do something he'd be like Trong the experience and you know a lot of the times I did cave in but the thing about chasing all these experiences is that it robs you of something much greater and that is depth of experience. Take it from me, chasing all these empty experiences is only chasing empty highs that make you feel empty inside. I mean as much fun as pleasure is, it doesn't really do much. I feel like struggling and doing the same thing every single day, working towards an actual goal that means a lot to you, that means a lot more. So if you're looking to join a fraternity or simply trying to try something new, then I suggest you ask yourself a few questions first like what are your values? What do you want? What kind of person do you want to be? Do you value being in this type of social setting, having this kind of fun, meeting these type of types of people and doing these types of things on the weekend? Or do you value your individualism more? Or do you value other activities more? And don't worry too much about whatever decision you make. Like I always tell myself, whatever happens, it'll be okay. My name's Trong and I'll see you guys next time. Why is it? It just got bright in my room for no reason. I don't understand. Ah. <sighs>